hopefully get a good win here that doesn't require three and a half hours. Continuing to try the starting void instability modifier setup. Thunder or lightning? Let's do lightning. Uh, Swerving's not bad. Shield Bash as well gives us some nice potential vulnerable sources. Shifting Winds can be good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with most of these. I think I'll roll the Issue Challenge. Gathering Storm. Uh, maybe we'll get some Tempo stuff. Issue Challenge I think is a little too expensive to be useful that much in the early game. Uh, what do we want to grab here? Uh, might just be a quick charge kind of situation. None of the cards that we picked up help us gain overcharge. The Gathering Storm could, but we don't have tempo yet, of course. So... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to take quick charge here, even though I probably won't use it for a little bit. And we'll have to see what the zeal tree looks like anyway. Okay. Oh, there it is, my favorite. Dark Idol, early on, and I don't even have to give up card pack or elite. I do have to give up this upgrade plus zeal node, though, huh? But that's a pretty cool looking path. Um, let's take a look at the map rewards. Devotion. Hmm. Uh, roll over, if that's early, that'll be great. Jolt's usually pretty strong. Guidance is good, Clashing Steel is good, and maybe we might consider a raw power. What does that look like? Okay. So I don't think we're ever grabbing that raw power. This connection seems good, it lets us come down like that. Skip the Clashing Steel. Can poke our heads in this shop as well, why not? That looks like a pretty good path to me. A lot of value. We'll be down to two voids after the shrine, so this elite fight could be a bit tough. Uh, what are we looking at for zeal? Shock four to everyone's nice. Spell cooldown. Which boss do we have here? We can actually see that now with this size uh, 50 setup. Let's pray is normally a three turn cooldown, I believe. I don't know if I really care about channel power for that. Uh, no other, no spell child or anything here, right? Yeah, so this that's highly speculative. Uh, more shock here is cool. Overcharge as well. We could have a lot of overcharge if we keep this, grab this. Hmm, interesting. Overcharge one, delay rage 50. Hmm. This is an interesting setup. I see lots of shock and some decent overcharge, although I don't really want to be stuck with my starting 7 and a tier 1 5 for like all that long, so this probably isn't really like a long term thing. I do often, well, not like often, but somewhat frequently, I keep Zeal 7 as the starting power, and that's usually not bad. But I, I definitely don't want to keep the Zeal 5 and the 7 at the weakest possible version, especially when I'm looking at something like the uh, just unequivocal 6 to the highest HP enemy. That's a really good one. So we're probably not going to want to rely on this for overcharge, but I wouldn't mind grabbing it early. Probably just going to be the first one, and then... Honestly, this might just be my second, is immediately upgrade it into Tier 2. And then eventually I'd probably work down to Sacred Beams... That seems likely. Okay. Well, I think that's our path taken care of then. We've got our zeal stuff figured out. Let's do some quick changes here. We're not going to bother with the quick charge yet. Uh, should I put in a weighted assault? Uh, I, I guess I will. I guess. The one awaited assault's pretty decent. 
And we'll just leave it at this. Thinking about cutting one grounded for the shifting winds. Grounded's probably better than shifting winds right now. But I'll keep my eye on that. And we'll just crush through these guys real quick. Uh-oh. Guess we're taking a small hit. Unfortunate RNG there, but it's fine. So much health on Tempest. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I think we're just going to kill you. Yeah, so we'll just go like... Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, not only did we not draw any block, but of course we drew the void as well, so that we take eight instead of five. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, first upgrade point. Uh, where do we want this one? Obviously quick charge is a great upgrade, but... Not very timely. Nevertheless, all of the starting upgrades are pretty underwhelming. Shield Bash, not amazing. Awaited Assault, not amazing. We're not using any of the other cards right now. Guidance is going to go in, but I think it's fine at 12. It doesn't need the upgrade. I'll just drop it on the Quick Charge. Okay, get the Guidance in there, and I guess I'll put the Quick Charge in already, to be honest. It's, uh, it's a small consistency booster. It's earlier than I would usually put it in. Uh, what do we have here, huh? Strike twice and smite. Hmm. Strike twice is not bad, it's heavy. Smite is our only X cost here, yeah? That's the only one. So I'm kind of thinking about that. I do like having an X cost if I can, and Strike Twice is not exactly a stellar card. Yeah. I mean, unupgraded Smite is not all that amazing either, but we're probably just going to upgrade it here. You know, we were complaining we don't have any great upgrades, so... I will, I will just upgrade the Smite. See what that does for us. We're going to get yet another Grounded here. it is. So, are we ever just gonna kill the Hellmongrel, hmm? We need to purge twice more to take him down. Either of these guys are attacking. Yeah, I mean, it seems easy enough. And then we'll just throw down the grounded. Yeah, seems good. Should be able to kill these guys before we have to reshuffle with any luck here. Um, him having 17 health is particularly <laughs> annoying. We don't have any rage or anything, so we do actually have to contribute real damage to him here. So be it. We just have a million charges coming up, so I'll just purge down everything. Alright, first zeal point secured. Let's go ahead and get that zeal 5. That'll be nice with our smite, having a bit of extra overcharge. And I think we can put our yellow stone probably just in the quick charge. I like Yellowstone Quick Charge. Uh, the other thing that I really like to put in Quick Charge usually is a purple, but we're not getting one of those for a long while, so yellow will do. You know, it's, it's, it's just a very flexible card in this state. It does so many different things for you with the Yellowstone. I'm a big fan. OK, 
Okay, nice to get the grounded early. Uh, we'll just do a big old galvanize here, I think, right? Swerving first to get the vulnerable, galvanize for big damage, bump up to seven. Look at that overcharge. Now we just need to have a well-timed smite, I guess, right? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this one void has been a real pain so far, I gotta say. In a lot of runs, we've been able to kind of ignore it, but not the case this time. And Tempest definitely, I think, cares the least about uh, being able to see who she's about to fight. But, you know, we gotta try out this kind of stuff to figure out if we like it. Maybe we'll end up going to some sort of character-specific thing that we, uh... We change things out based on who we're playing. But for the time being, I'm, I'm definitely still in the experimentation phase. Uh, we should probably just bank up our energy here rather than go for a galvanize. Since we have our smite coming up. We don't really need any more overcharge. Come on! That is unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. So if we go up to 10, this is an easy kill, so I can just do that. Nice. It's so annoying that we drew those two, but it didn't matter. Just being stuck with uh, two unusable cards versus the Light of the Soulless is always frustrating on Tempest, because you have so much stuff where it's like incidental shock. Or, like in this case, we had Vulnerable off the shield and stuff. Not being able to guarantee those debuffs can be rough. Um, but anyway, what do we take now? I do really like this in the early game. And I'm a little hesitant to go off of the block 3 because... We're about to have a lot of voids in the deck, and this is a small but potentially meaningful consistency booster. On the other hand, in terms of actually dealing with these elites, the... Shock 6 is a big boost, too, so that's probably the right call. Right, like, I do like both of these, but it's clearly not a good idea to be investing in 10 right now. And the 7s aren't particularly powerful, so, yeah, I think this is the only real choice left. Although there is an argument to be made that I should just stay on Hallowed Vigor. I think I am going to do Voltaic Burst, at the very least, just for this fight versus the Elite. Corpse Mound. Oh, boy. I uh, don't think I want an enough. Yeah, I don't think so. It's probably not worth it with the double grounded. And since we have this spell, the Stew of Bad Memories, that's pretty interesting. Iron Scabbard also worth consideration. Holy Effigy, I pretty much can just write this off immediately. I don't think this is going to be useful at all. Um, but the Iron Scabbard, huh? We've got a couple heavies, right? Besides the two Galvanizes, uh, Smite is a heavy card. And I think we have one other heavy card coming up, right? Or don't we? Oh, yeah, there it is, the Rollover. We have Rollover coming up. So we got a couple heavy cards to get back off the scabbard. Uh, the stew, though, stew is potentially very good at boosting our consistency for hitting 10, and the rage is never a bad thing. Uh, what are our options for 10 again? Delay 50, damage, and uh, shock 8 to everyone. Those are all pretty dang good. I think it's probably stew. Yeah, let's, let's go with Stew here. We're going to give this one a try. Start out with a really big damage turn there and hope that the block works itself out here. I just want to get the ball rolling on this guy. Okay, yeah, it looks like we do have enough block. Uh, no real point in doing the vulnerable here, I don't think. So we're just not gonna. Hmm. This is annoying. It's, 
If I could get to the Zeal 3, I wouldn't have to take this chip. Oh well. 25 next turn is... It's probably worth holding this Dissipate in that case. I will. Okay, Shield Bash is good. That's what I was hoping for. Actually, how big is the... Ooh. Hmm. We're up to 20 on the first hit there. Is that going to be enough? I don't think that's enough, is it? Might as well do this first. Guidance. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this isn't quite enough. The vulnerable won't stick, of course, which is a little annoying. But this is pretty convenient. We get the tempo. Oh, wait, no, we missed the tempo. Whoops. <laughs> but he's got 18 shock. He's just adding dazes next turn. We're probably not going to kill him here, I don't think, but we'll be pretty close. And then we should just be able to finish him off. Oh, okay, no, we do get him. And the stew is ready to go. We're not going to be able to afford much here. Yeah, we can barely get anything. Uh, shift polarity is kind of neat if we want to, like, purge it and then play Gathering Storm. Especially if we were to upgrade this guy. That's not bad at all. Concentrate's okay, although an unupgraded concentrate is definitely less exciting. Got a Blackstone coming up, so that's something. I do think our zeal powers are going to be a pretty important part of this run. So, even on upgraded, it is still actually a very strong consideration for me right now. The shift polarity thing is cute, but like, we just have the one Gathering Storm, you know, and the only other card that can even theoretically trigger Gathering Storm is uh, Guidance. So, that's a little bit iffy, to say the least. I think I will go ahead and grab the Concentrate, and we'll just leave. If I had enough to also afford the Shift Polarity, I probably would take it, but we don't. I think the Concentrate's going to be better. We also get a Green Stone, which I am interested in putting into one of our buffs. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Shifting Winds being better than Grounded right now, but I'm a little hesitant to Green Stone it, since we can always just upgrade it, of course. I think I'm actually going to take out the Awaited Assault for this Concentrate. When's our next upgrade, huh? Immediately? Upgrading the rollover itself, of course, is always good for the early hallway fights, but we don't have that many of those to come. It's 50% chance that it's not good versus this Elite, of course, if it's the Skeletal Mage. And even if we are fighting Bruce with his fish buddies, we're probably in a position where we can kill him before the fish matter, so I guess I can afford to just not bother with the rollover in that case, at least with the upgrade. Which means that this upgrade point is free to spend wherever I want. At that point, I could upgrade the Shifting Winds and then replace the second Grounded with it. And that's pretty good. I'd like to upgrade the Concentrate, but it's not essential. Yeah, okay, you know, we'll just do this now even. Get a head start on it. I think this will be pretty good. I didn't just upgrade the... okay, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure I didn't just brain fart and put the green stone in the shifting winds after that whole spiel. That would have been funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, double howl. Not a fan of that. What is this? At least he has shock. Holy cow, dude. If he didn't have the shock there, I'd be so screwed. Do I need to keep the dissipate? Um, I probably should. Right? Eh. Like, there are draws where we whiff, but they're pretty few and far between, and we might actually just kill everybody in that case, so... 
I guess I'll be a little greedy here and purge it. Probably an unnecessary risk, if we're being completely honest. The Cinderhound is getting pretty big. Okay, uh, how much kills him here? This is, like, way overkill. But we can't get you with the double charge, can we? Because that's 14, and then this would be 9 plus uh, 3, right? And then we have enough energy. Hmm. That does actually kill the pup, I think, right? It's harmless to try, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a kill. Gets us just there. And then this is still enough to finish you off. Nice and easy. And so here I can upgrade the shifting winds. And that's probably a good idea before we go into this elite with a bunch of voids in the deck. Make sure I start strong. As much as I do also want to upgrade the grounded and even the concentrate. Shifting wins for now. Set ourselves up for success in the immediate future. Oh man. If I hadn't bought that concentrate, I could have got a blackstone here. I actually don't know which one of those I'd rather have. Both are really strong. At the very least though, we do get a nice juicy rare here. And it's the Electro Metronome, which is perfect given the route we're taking this run, which is lots of shock. Definitely has been uh, making the smite a lot better than it would normally be, just how much shock access we have this early on in the run. Normally you wouldn't have uh, something like this on the Zeal 5, and now we have this guy as well. The, the smite's going to be pretty strong. All these voids, though, are obviously going to be a huge issue. And we are, in fact, fighting the Skeletal Mage, so very glad that we did not upgrade the rollover. Performance enhancers, not all that great with this deck, usually. Uh, they're good with the block 3 zeal, but they're bad with the fact that you tend to block in larger chunks, because you have these two-cost dissipates instead of one-costers. And I even have Guidance and Shield Bash thrown in as well, so... Makes this less good, um... The dead drop is pretty bad with a 24 card deck for the time being. Although, of course, we are getting rid of both Shifting Winds and Grounded. These are expelling. So after the Voids are gone, our deck is going to be smaller than average, but that's going to take a little while. Uh, meanwhile, the Crystal Lake hand-me-down. This one's a bit awkward, right? It makes heavy cards cost minus three, but if our heavy card is an X-cost card like the Smite, it just does nothing. And wh what's worse than that... It wastes the charge. So while it's very good to get it on Galvanizes, it's very bad to get it on Smite. And our ability to control that is heavily limited. Pretty often when we draw the Smite, we just kind of have to play it. So I don't really love any of these options, if we're being honest. I will probably take the Crystal Lake hand-me-down. Probably. The first time each battle effect is at least pretty nice. And it's probably going to be a little bit more reliable than the dead drop. Both of these are effects that don't actually do anything. The, the first battle effect, that is, and the dead drop's entire effect. Neither one kicks in until we've reshuffled the deck, given that we have no means of getting back the upgraded card that we played. Or the, the heavy card that we played that gets upgraded and gets the redstone. But uh, this has an effect that can trigger on the first cycle through the deck, and like I said, our deck is bigger than usual, so... Definitely think we want the hand-me-down, but I'm not thrilled about it. But we'll just go off here on turn one. The stew is ready to go for the next spell usage. We gotta be careful about his uh, debuff cleanse when he does that, because we're gonna lose all our shock if we're not careful. But he does not even care, he's just going for big damage, huh? That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> That is a bit unfortunate. I would normally just love to block three with the zeal here and take the extra hit, but then he's going to hit even harder. Yeah, we're in, a, we're in a bit of a situation right now. It's like I could just purge everything and just do the biggest smite possible and hope I kill him before these voids flood me. But he's going to be very strong at that point. 
Nevertheless, I feel like that's our best path to success. I'd feel more comfortable if we had a potion right now, but we just haven't been able to get any yet. In fact, are we getting any potions at all? We're getting one. That's not great. That is not great at all. Crud. Oh boy. Yeah, there's no nothing fancy to be considering here. The only real consideration is like a swerving currents first, which costs two hits of smite, which is like significant. But then of course he gets vulnerable. cost three hits really because we're not purging it too so I think that's almost certainly less damage I think I need to just go in here and just take the f take the hit so that's what we're gonna do I mean that's so much damage he's attacking for a lot though okay um this is a pretty good draw this is quite a good hand that we've drawn Unfortunately, we aren't really going to be able to deal any damage, and there's two voids still in the deck, but... He's removing debuffs, so it is an off turn. I really wish I could squeeze in some damage here, man, to get some value out of this shock. But it's just not possible without taking another hit, and I don't want to do that. So there goes 28 shock down the train. That's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. Okay. Free Galvanize is always nice, though. Do I make him vulnerable here? Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. I think we do. I think we just go for it here. We're gonna go like this, this, this. Galvanize. And we're in a little bit of trouble because there's 30 on the stack and we're about to become vulnerable, so that is lethal damage. And there's not much that we can do. We are alive, and we just barely miss out on a kill. That is unfortunate. Sure do wish I could heal at the upcoming shrine, but that's clearly not an option. Gonna have our work cut out for this. What is this?! What is this? Hello? Whatever, it's it's fine, it's fine. Jeez, man. Could have gone a bit better. Could have gone a bit better, that's for sure. But we're out of there. Um, I think we probably do want this card pack over an upgrade point and a zeal point, right? Probably? What would the zeal point be? The zeal point would be... It'd be a tier 1-3, I'm sure. Hmm. And the upgrade would probably be... Uh, grounded. For more overcharge. I don't know. I think I should take the card pack. I think I should take the card pack. I want more... Uh, I want more card draw, and I want some better cheap defense. We're gonna get a treasure goblin fight, so that's really nice. Just have to make sure we don't die to, uh... <laughs> uh, ramping insanity. Or whatever it's called. I always forget the actual name of this one. Eroding sanity. Take an extra ramping one threat per turn. Starting from turn three. Uh, we also have this red stone. I could put that somewhere if I wanted to. I don't know where it would go. The Swerving Currents is not super likely to stick in the deck. The Galvanizes are sometimes free. So, like, that could be cool. I don't know. I really don't know here. Um, I guess I'll save it and look at the card pack. This fight should be free, of course. So. So far, so good. 
Should never really need to worry about this damage anyway because of our Zeal 3, which we will realistically be hitting every turn. See you, Treasure Goblin. Alright, nice easy fight after that ridiculous elite. What do we get here? Hmm, okay, well, I really like Duck and Weave. Rumble's not bad. Have at you, not bad either. We're a little bit light on rage. Shift Polarity's okay. Smash is nice. It's another heavy card that we can uh, make use of. This is pretty good. I think it's probably going to be Shift Polarity that I roll. That seems like the least useful. I This this isn't great outside of the, uh, the Gathering Storm interaction, I don't think, so... The issue challenge that we rolled from our starting pack has come back to us. I guess I don't hate it. Uh, first things first, get two voids out of the deck. And now let's do our editing. So I think we can cut a dissipate for a duck and weave. That just seems good. I think we're going to cut one charge for smash. And what else? Uh, we'll swap out a dissipate for a close in two while we're at it. Less Discharge seems good right now. Uh, so the ones that I'm not certain on are these three, basically. And I should probably put in Rollover just for these coming two fights. Probably, I think. Mm, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not totally sold on the Rollover. Because the Metronome only puts Shock on the highest enemy. And this power also only puts Shock on the highest enemy. So the birds aren't going to have any Shock. Uh, I think they're going to have more than 17 health. I guess we'll see when we get there. And in terms of rage, yeah, we really just have, like, what, Smash? And that's... I mean, the Grounded. Smash and Grounded, that's it. So... Yeah, I don't know about that. Don't know about the rollover. I mean, we, we, we're going to put in Have At You, I think. In fact, I think I'll just take out the Swerving Currents. It's been pretty underwhelming. So now we have at least this one way to get a lot of rage. Issue Challenge is a very, very dense block card. I guess I can swap out one more Dissipate for it. Is Charge better than Rumble? I mean, we have one extra heavy card, but there's still not that many. Only four total, and we have to have them in the same turn on an unupgraded Rumble. It's probably not worth it. I will put in the rollover just for this next fight, though, I think. No, nope, never mind. It's a single target fight. Goodbye, rollover. Alright, all we gotta do is survive this and the boss fight, and then we'll be in pretty good shape. We'll get most of our health back. It'll be a good time. Do I go up to Zeal 5 here? Probably. That seems important. It's a lot of shock. Okay, the Duck and Weave is really good here. Get rid of the last Void. And am I going to be holding any of this block? Probably. I think I'll hold the Shield Bash. And we can still hit uh, our Zeal 7 there, which is nice. Keep the Shock flowing. The uh, Hand Me Down is ready to go for the final remaining uh, Galvanize. Or the Smash. Ahead and shield bash. Hmm. I'm wondering if we just like save up for a really big smite next turn. That didn't seem bad, honestly. It seems pretty good. What else is in here? Just damage. But is it gonna be big enough? Is it gonna be big enough? So we don't actually have all that much rage here, do we? Although we will get the freebie smash. It's probably going to be big enough, right? If we fail, we die. So that is a concern. We're only going to have 14 block, right? Uh, wait, no, actually, that's enough. That's enough. We're not going to be vulnerable. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Pretty sure this gets us the win. We just go smash, 
have at you. Yeah, we're there. 202 damage. Not bad. And our first potion is a draw potion. This is good for the late game. Not so great for the uh, boss fight we're about to run into. I mean, it would be good to use it in that fight, but not not as good as it would normally be because this guy punishes drawing cards. You know? Uh, what is going to help us the most with this boss fight? Is it grounded? It might be grounded. This is almost certainly going to be a lot more overcharged than this upgrade. And I think that's the best we can do right now. We'll go grounded. Uh, we should probably decide if we want to put the redstone in anything now. I could see it going in the smash, especially if we upgrade it. That's 100% rage. That's pretty good. Although, uh, this gets a redstone for free sometimes off the hand-me-down. Mm. Probably not, like, really worth avoiding socketing it just because of that. But it is something to consider. Um, alternatively, it would just go on something random like Duck and Weave. Mm. I do want the little bump from the redstone here, though. I think I should socket it. We'll do, we'll do Smash. And how much health do these guys have? 25 health. So, roll over at 17. If I have, uh, say, 25% rage from a grounded, um, what does that come out to? That is 22 damage, I think. It rounds up to 22. Which, uh, obviously is not gonna kill. 22 is smaller than 25. The only way to have more rage than that is from what we have close in we have smash uh am i forgetting anything is there any way to conveniently kill these guys none of this stuff gets me there i guess the stew theoretically it's probably worth putting it in i guess i can put in uh swerving inside of a charge as well because now i have an additional way to get them swerving plus rollover the tempo could really hurt us, but, uh, I don't know. We got a lot of overcharge going. Maybe we'll make it work. I think this is probably the deck that we should run. Uh, I don't think we need Jolt. I think we have enough shock application as is. Uh, I'll leave the draw potion in the belt and try to save it for later, but we might need to crack it. You've got to be kidding me. Just <laughs> straight out the gate with this shit. You've got to be joking me. Oh. Oh, come on, man. I can can do the issue challenge thing. That's what we would go grounded, I guess. That sucked. No shifting winds. At least the void is gone. Got to get our shot going fast. Okay, I mean, this is pretty good damage. Don't think there's any real point to holding the smite. We're gonna need to go around the horn. But we already drew our rollover, so if we want to kill the stupid birds, we have to target them. We need a lot of block this turn. This is enough. This is enough block. Oh, <sighs> Next turn is very worrying, though. We gotta kill these. We gotta kill at least one of these birds. Okay, so I'm thinking we go dissipate, galvanize to kill a bird. And then we can smash this one down, but then we won't have enough to do the guidance. So uh, we just get rid of that. We get the bonus, uh, the tempo thing there off the guidance. I'm still really concerned about what's about to happen on this turn, though. Might have to crack our potion. Right, because, yeah, this stuff does not help us. Uh, let's just duck and weave the charge. And then let's shield bash you. This is so frustrating here. 
Uh, I honestly might just play have at you just to kill this bird. And I don't mind getting this out of the deck. We've got two Banes that have been added. The other option is to do a quick charge. Just draw the Galvanize and kill him. I guess that's fine too. The quick charge covering its block uh, there is really nice. I want to hit five here, so... We'll do it this way. Get a little bit of damage on him at least. We knew the Shifting Winds was going to come back around. Uh, duck and Weave to ditch a Bane here is good. Uh, I think we'll just Quick Charge then, right? Yeah, okay. Ten next turn. Whew. Uh, I think the Shifting Winds is past the point of usefulness, so we're just not going to bother with it. We shouldn't need the Quick Charge. We might need the Issue Challenge. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and do this, then. That's quite a lot of damage. If we get back to the smite, that's a kill. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the issue challenge. If we had a zeal 10, I probably would have done that turn a little differently and tried to actually hit that, but since we don't, we can just be a little safe. Okay, we got the smite. Uh, yeah, this this is just game, right? Nice. A couple close calls there, but we made it. Get back a lot of our health, up to 57. Uh, and let's pray, not that bad. Not that bad. We might use it to handle the voids. Um, as for what we take here, I don't want to spend this money on max health. That is a bad deal. Um, boost pack with the rare void stones. I mean, we have no rares at all right now. Rares are pretty good. Several cards that I would not mind replacing. Some pretty mediocre stuff in here right now. The charges, the issue challenge, the swerving. In terms of void stones, we're about to get a black stone that's probably going to go on the concentrate as a way to generate lots of zeal to take advantage of the electro metronome. I would not mind having purple stones just in general. Red stones similarly would be really good. Um, even blues to help handle this is quite strong. Green stone's kind of a big whiff. Second black stone target would maybe be shifting winds. In all likelihood, I would just save it for later, though. Um, I think we're going to go for card quality here. Let's try and boost the overall card quality of our deck. Another constant. Ooh, defensive attack! That's a big win. Very, very nice. A big three cost heavy card uh, with an insane upgrade. Plus five block and five delay block. That's a great pickup. Uh, very happy about that. Another concentrate's not that bad. Like I said, these are very good at helping us abuse the Electro Metronome, so that's pretty cool. Juiced up potentially good if we upgrade it. Uh, purging for Overcharge is really good, although this isn't really necessary for our build. Splitting arcs, uh, I don't know about that. We are gaining uh, two overcharge at the start of the turn with Grounded, so that never works off the splitting arcs, so that means that it's only going to work from the spell, our zeal 7, which may well change, and then like, what, this quick charge? Yeah, I think we can do better than that. Uh, probably not going to use the kneecaps at all, but I'd rather get an uncommon here. Divine Spark. Uh, that's pretty good. Gets us our defensive attack. Gets us, uh, rage if we want that as well with the smash. That's not bad. I wouldn't mind getting an upgrade on it as well, though. This this is this is pretty okay. We might find room for that. Okay, we have a mime as well. We're gonna get this blackstone. I wouldn't mind duping our blackstone concentrate at the mime. That could be cool. Gotta go here, of course. Um, I probably want to do this, but that's really crappy, because then... Ugh. Well, hmm. Maybe this is the opening line. We get rid of the voids pretty quick. And then that means that we have to come down like that and skip that elite, but I will happily trade a soul collector for an elite. That's a good deal, if you can only have one of the uh, two. 
I don't really see a good way of getting everything. Right? Like, if, if I want this, 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 and this, I don't think I can get all four of them conveniently, can I? Because, like, I could do this. Costs me... Actually, I mean, I don't know. Is, is this so bad? This is probably fine. We got really lucky with the early shrine here. Yeah, this, this is probably fine, actually. Costs us a uh, potion, a fervor, and an upgrade. For, I mean, like, we're not going to have that much money to spend here. If we, we're, we're going to probably roll here and then, like, you know, probably just save it off for the potion shop, honestly, at the rate the potions have been dropping. But I think this is pretty doable. Uh, let's, let's look at the cards we're actually getting, huh? Rolling Thunder, another quick charge, reroute... Tapped out. That could be a good tapped out. Another have at you. Hmm. So we, <laughs> our best finisher really is just going to be the smite, huh? Unless we get something crazy here or here. I think we can work with this. Let's do some deck editing. I'm going to cut the rollover and the swerving. I want to put in the defensive attack. I want to put in... The Divine Spark. Is this where we're going to leave it for now? Hmm. The next zeal point we get is probably going to be working towards Sacred Beams. Right, two points there. Actually, I didn't count how much, how many extra zeal things we're unlocking. Oh, <laughs> only two. Hmm, so that means we're not going to have a 10 at all. What are our stats right now? We're still never hitting 10, but that would change, especially once we got the uh, the double concentrate going. And notably, uh, the Electro Metronome requires us to trigger a zeal power, not just hit the relevant zeal numbers. So if we're hitting zeal 10, but we don't have a zeal 10 power, uh, that's missed value on the Electro Metronome. And the zeal 10 is a pretty good one. Delay Rage 50%. That is not bad at all. So it's actually... Kind of tough to say if I'm gonna go for a 10 or if I'm gonna work my way down to 4 shock to everyone. I mean, Delay Rage 25 is pretty good too. I could see myself actually using that over block 3. So maybe this is my first one and then I pick up this later. Like, way, way later. Because <laughs> if I buy this one first, I'm committed to never getting this one. Yeah, not without, like, Codex. Codex of Ultimate Fervor. Mm, we'll have to figure that one out as we go. Oh, also, how many hallway fights are we doing? One, two, three... Well, we already know that this one isn't the Goat Boys, so let's just count the unknowns. One, two, three, four. That's not bad at all. Okay. Gonna be a little light on souls, though. We actually have not done all that many combats in this uh, <laughs> this run so far. So, this, and we're, we're going to try and pay souls here, too, actually, so hmm, that might be a concern. That might be a concern. We'll see how much it costs for an unupgraded common with a stone in it. It shouldn't be that expensive. I'm pretty sure it should be, like, four or something. Actually, it might be a little more than that. I don't remember the exact prices, but let's just come in like this. The smash is not particularly useful against this guy. But we might as well prime our hand-me-down. And I think we'll do this as well. Get some shock on him. The rage from the stew doesn't matter either, of course. Okay. So we're definitely just going to duck and weave out a void here. Uh, we've got a free galvanize. What would we want to grab with spark? Spark into defensive attack for next turn actually seems really good. So we'll actually go for a free defensive attack instead of a free galvanize. But I think I will still play one galvanize. That is a lot of overcharge. Okay. 
Annoyingly, though, we are one off of an overcharge threshold, and we're, our, we're one off of a zeal threshold as well, so... Okay, uh... Hmm... This is another very annoying situation. Three block plus eleven is just barely not enough. So if we want the full block, we actually have to play an issue challenge. Gross. And charge does not kill this guy. And he's no longer the highest HP enemy, so he's not going to be getting any kind of shock either. I guess we have to smite him for two then, don't we? Yeah. Nasty. But I don't see another way. Uh, two threat next turn is just uh, quick charge, or a zeal power even, so we don't need either of these. Which means that we can uh, use the charge. Probably just going to go after you. Can we get another Drowned? Nope. It seems like Bloated happens like three quarters of the time, roughly. But it's always nice when you do get the Drowned. Reshuffling without one of the Voids is very nice. Uh, also, we're Haunted, so we don't get the block off of this, so it's a good thing we have that handy Zeal. Hmm. I guess at least they're both out of the deck. Uh... This guy is dealing a lot of damage. That is a concern. Do I keep any of these blocks? Yeah, I definitely do. Definitely gonna keep a Guidance. I don't think I need the Vulnerable because they both have a good chunk of shock on them. But I doubt I kill both of them in one turn, so I probably do need to actually block the... Uh, blow to death damage, or just soften them both up and get them next time. Although, with the uh, crystal-like hand-me-down and the fact that we've also drawn the smite here, it might actually happen. It might just, because we don't need that much to, to kill one of these guys, right? Ooh. How about that, huh? Well, fair enough. I didn't think we were going to be able to do that, but we drew, like, the perfect hand. Get an Iron Skin Potion? Oh, I really was hoping for something a bit... I don't know, I don't want to say better, it's not a bad potion. But, like, the, the draw potion we have right now, we really want to have to brew versus the Void, so something that would be nice to brew versus Vault Guardians would have been really nice here, and this is not particularly good against any of the Vault Guardians. It's okay in the belt, 20 block on demand is not that bad. I mean, which Vault Guardians are we even taking, huh? Death Knight would be a pretty decent one if we can line that up with a big smite turn. Um, Queen of Ages is not so bad either, actually. Although she's going to have a lot of debuffs getting removed, so that could be dangerous for us. Blessing of Blunting... Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what we're doing there. Let's see what the class trainer has in store for us. We probably want to spend not very much money here. In fact, I'm wondering if we should just not spend any, actually. Right? Like, this would be the card to roll, but, like, I would like to have as much money as I can at the Merchant. Because there are plenty of cards I would love to pick up here. Like, any replacement to the Smite, or probably not a replacement. We probably still play the Smite, but... Any alternatives, just so that I'm more consistent at drawing my finishers, and that I ideally have a, a slightly higher potential ceiling. So I'm, I'm kind of inclined to just say I don't want to spend any money at all here, actually. I think we're just going to leave. Bit weird, I almost always roll at least once, but I think it's the right choice here. Uh, also, we have our black stone, finally, so... Let's go ahead and put that in the Concentrate. I think this is going to be a really good choice. Alright, currently this Smite is our only finisher, and the Concentrate helps us get there. Uh, it's a bit weird that the upgrade decision we have to make here is, like, we don't want to upgrade the Concentrate necessarily, because then it's more expensive to duplicate. And then that'll cost us more souls, and we might not get as good stuff from the Soul Collector, but... It might just be more important to secure this anyway. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. We'll have to see what makes the most sense. Okay, it really sucks to have this void already. Uh, 
I'm thinking we're actually just gonna play it. I don't really want to uh, have this guy attacking for any more than he needs to be, and it lets us get up to our zeal 7 in a somewhat convenient manner. <laughs> we just drew the other one immediately, didn't have a chance to duck and weave it out. Feels bad, but it's fine, I guess. We'll grab our block this way, probably ditching... Probably ditching Divine Spark at this point. There's not that much left. I think I'm just going to play the other Void 2 at this point. Ridiculous. We already have a good handful of Banes that have been added. So we need to speed things up dramatically. Those were some very slow turns. Uh, block here is 5 plus 3 from the Zeal, so we're good there. We're definitely going to hit the main dude with the defensive attack here. So I can just get the Concentrate out. If I go defensive attack, and then I can Galvanize, and then I could also do a big Smite if I wanted. It's a little bit too big. This is pretty convenient, though. Knocking you down to three. First time hitting ten there, I think. That seems really good, actually. It's going to be easy to pick him off now. Uh, this guy has the highest health, so he'll be getting all the shock. So it should be pretty easy to kill him, and then kill him very quickly before he attacks, and then you'll have a lot of shock, and we can get you that way. That is going to be the game plan here, I think. Okay, we got Smash. Uh, is this going to kill you? Smash plus charge? Uh, let's go ahead and use the spell while we're at it. No, okay, one charge does not do it. That is a bit sad. Let's quick charge. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a bad draw. That was not a good draw. Okay, well, we might as well get you all the way down to one there. One hit, that is. And I think we're just going to have faith that things work out for us. We do have the hand-me-down as well. I'll go ahead and hit you once. They're all so low at this point. 21 damage is not that bad. Just don't draw like a handful of Banes. Uh, this doesn't do it, right? We only have two things that we can hit here. But it gets us somewhere. Always going to do this. Divine Spark can really only get us defensive attack here, right? Galvanize doesn't do anything, so... I guess that's the play, is just go for the defensive attack here. Kind of sucks because we're not actually going to get the three block from Blessed Shield. And what also sucks is that if we kill this guy, they respawn, of course, so we have to just, like, massively overkill you instead. And then just hopefully we just get them both next turn and we don't have some sort of crazy bad low roll. I don't expect such a thing will happen. Yeah, we're fine here, right? We have enough energy. Okay, three damage. That's not that bad. Now we really gotta choose, though, if we upgrade the Concentrate or not. Because there's no more upgrade points uh, after the Dark Mime until all the way over here. And that's the last one for the whole floor. So we've got this upgrade that we're currently spending, and then two more. The cards we really want to upgrade are Defensive Attack, and... We probably want to upgrade Divine Spark... That seems good. And then I'm not sure about the Concentrate. So we're going to get at least one more soul there, another soul there. I think I'm going to be able to afford it if I upgrade the Concentrate. Do we really need more energy, though? Is that our problem, or do we need other stuff? I don't have to decide quite yet. I'll at least just do this instead. 
for the na for the moment, and then we'll make our decision over there. So get rid of the last two voids. That's really nice. Finally, just have a nice clean twenty card deck. No more random vulnerable. These guys should be no problem. I'm wondering if the uh, Jolt isn't going to make its way into the deck eventually, though. We have a pretty good shock output, but I'm kind of starting to feel like I could use a little bit more. Then again, uh, depending on what we do with our Fervor, we might end up with more there. Uh, usually you just got to go for the Champ first, if you get one. So that is what we were going to do. We drew a couple of our block cards early. Kind of feeling like I should hold the Guidance, so I will. Okay, Divine Spark is probably the least relevant card you could have taken there, so... That's all fine and dandy. Glad I held the Guidance! What the hell is this? Okay, can we at least get the tempo off this? Yeah, we can. How much does this need to be at to kill you? It needs to be at seven? Jesus. Hmm. Maybe I just don't smite at all. And we just go, like, galvanize plus double charge on you? Hmm. 37 next turn is a heck of a lot. I think we're just going to skip the smite. Charge. Charge. Galvanize. Guidance. Probably save the spell. I mean, there's plenty of great block left in here. I am going to take 6 here, though. I don't have a health potion or any other way to heal. Not pathing to the last shrine. Although we could choose to break our pathing if we really want that shrine. Okay, well we got a lot of our defense here. We did not get the shield bash or the issue challenge, though. At least not yet. Okay, well the concentrate's a sick pick up there. Couldn't find it. Could not find it. We're not killing you here, that's for sure. We want to go after you. Dang, dude, this fight is a little bit bad right now. To put it bluntly, we took a lot more damage than I think we really should have there. Eight so far. It's far from over. The king is up to 5x5. Five five. He has a lot of shock, and it shouldn't be that hard to pick these two off, but if this guy attacks, yeah, which he is, then it's, it's kind of not so great. We did draw the smite, though, so that's really good. We can pick him off, and also probably just, like, take you out, right? In fact, actually, can we just get everyone? We totally can. Okay. Thank God we drew smite. Uh, now we have to make two pretty meaningful choices, I think. We're up to 26 souls, and we're getting at least one more there. I think I we're guaranteed two there, actually, right? I think I can afford the Concentrate upgrade. And still guarantee myself a rare if I want it at the Soul Collector. I think I can do that. This does kind of seem like a big deal. I'm gonna do it, man. And now for the second one. We are reaching Zeal 10 some of the time now. The Concentrate upgrade will make that a little easier. Do I go for Righteous Quest and then down to Sacred Beams, or do I just pick up the nice Righteous Pursuit? We're not hitting this all that often, but when we do, it's extra value on the shock there. 50% Rage is pretty big. Are we getting anything else that's going to get us more zeal? Not guaranteed. It would all just be like RNG on relics. I don't know why I had that one red, by the way. 
we can definitely pick that up, and a battle plan is actually going to be pretty appreciated, I think. Mm. I mean, battle plan does help with zeal. And we could get something at the shop. Uh, I mean, I don't have to spend the zeal point now. It does seem kind of foolish to waste it, though, or to wait, that is. We just struggled a little bit with that fight. I would like more help with the elite. Would I even use Righteous Quest? I've actually kind of been needing the delay block there. Here, you know what we're actually going to do? First, we're going to go ahead and confirm that I can reasonably afford this. And I can. I think 21 is the maximum possible roll for a rare relic. So we'll just pay 7 here. And then we'll have 21 after the elite fight. And that's fine, right? Uh... You know, I think I'm actually going to take out... No, I'll take out another charge. Tough decisions to be made here. I want to put in just like a little bit more block, but I don't know what to take out. It's probably another charge, to be honest. Uh, I just don't have anything that's like particularly awesome. I guess I'd probably rather have it enough than a dissipate, though. <sighs> okay, so if we do that... Fight the Elite. Do I want to have... Block 3, or do I want to have Delay Rage 25? I mean, I can, I can look at the... At the Elite. It's the Beast of Malice. Cultus Ward is not bad. We could actually put in more and more buffs as well, right? We have... Two extra buffs? I mean, three, I guess, with the reroute. We don't discharge very often, though, do we? Our zeal powers... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Our zeal powers don't cause us to discharge. Although, like, they could in theory. Like, this guy makes you discharge. It's like, I could go down this route? Actually, you know what? Maybe that's the play, huh? Maybe I spend my fervor going down this route. I get discharge one, apply shock four to all enemies... And then I spend the other one on the 10. And then I put in the reroute, which gives me more zeal to get to the zeal 10. And I'm discharging. I want to upgrade it to make it playable, though. It would be good with the cultist ward. It would also be just good with the pavis. This is very interesting. Extra block triggers are really good, too, though. Honestly, all of these are, like, phenomenal relics. They're all so good. Really wish I could take more of them, but there's no lost and found after this. Because, like, this works with the uh, wonderful uh, defensive attack, and most of our block cards are a little expensive, right? Pretty much all of them are. This is the only cheap one. So, like, that's really nice. Putting in more buffs is, like, kind of cute, and, like, having the 20 block guaranteed on turn 1 because we have two rigged buffs is really nice. But it would, it would actually be a little bit hard to make room for that many more buffs, I think. And I don't think I have a reroute upgrade point to spare, right? I have one more upgrade. Oh, that's a crash. Dang it. I wasn't even doing anything there. Is that some kind of memory leak or something? Weird. Um, Right, I need to think about... Oh, whoops. I definitely just launched the wrong game. Get that out of here. Uh, I need to think about where I want to put that last upgrade point. Because if I can put it on the reroute, there's like a non-zero chance that I might. And just go all in on the Cultist Ward. That would help me a lot versus the Vault Guardians, I think. In particular versus the uh, Death Knight, who we do want to fight more than anyone else. Um, yeah, what else would I be upgrading here? Smash is like an okay upgrade, but it's far from necessary. The Divine Spark, I was saying maybe, but at this rate, I'm almost thinking I just cut it. Uh, kind of wishing I took the dead drop if we're going to be cycling this fast, but I don't know. The, uh, the Crystal I can't be down has bailed us out of a few rough spots. I don't know, going hard on the discharging could be good. With the jolt and the reroute. 
for the Pavis. More shock. I said I wanted more shock. That helps with this elite a lot. Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is this is such a tough call. This is such a tough call. There's like two possible options. Both of them branching off of either the elite, uh, the 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 cultist ward, or the energy redirector. Both of them also probably incorporating reroute, probably with an upgrade. Wish I had another uh, green stone for this thing, though. I'll tell you that much. That would have been pretty good. And then we could put in some number of groundeds, cutting just random stuff that hasn't been all that great, like this charge. I don't know. This is a hard decision. I think we're going to go Redirector. I think we're going to go Redirector. I think we're going to put our zeal on Hungering Whirl. Just going to spend that point. We're going to go Redirector. We're going to put in Reroute. Uh, although we might want to upgrade it first. I don't know if I can do it without an upgrade. And we're going to go Jolt. We'll put the next stone we get on the Jolt. I, don't, I really love putting a purple stone in a Jolt. But it's going to be a good while before we get this purple stone. Put the Jolt instead of Divine Spark. Is that crazy? Maybe instead of Have at you. We haven't really been playing this, although it is an Expel card, so that does kind of fit into the whole like thin to win thing that we can do. <sighs> I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. And we're going to go with the Redirector. Twenty-two shock just like that. I mean, that's pretty good. There's a lot of shock. Okay. Um, the hand me down is ready to go. We're probably just blocking with issue challenge here, to be honest. And then we try to get like smite next turn. So if we quick charge into the smite, that's actually kind of bad. Oh, it's also only round two, so we can actually shield bash him too, so that he'd be vulnerable, although that's gonna cost a lot of energy to use on the smite. Hmm. Let's just go for the issue challenge here. I don't think Jolt is worth it. I do want to quick charge at least once though, to get to the storm brand threshold. Okay. And I think that's where we end it. If we draw the defensive attack, we can just play it for free alongside the smite. Same with the galvanize. We have double concentrates. We have at you. This is going to be a big hit. As long as we draw the smite. We didn't draw the smite. Feels bad. I guess we can do this. Might as well. That's a lot of damage. We probably just kill him now anyway with the smite, even without much rage, right? Still not guaranteed to draw it. We did though, so that's nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's dead. Nice. I uh, feel good about the redirector already. I feel like that was a good call. Uh, this shop could matter a lot though. Let's poke our heads in. Hmm. What do we have here? I'm looking at a Seek Higher Power, I'm looking at an At The Ready, and I'm looking at a Bolt. Oh, well, well. Invig is kind of funny as well. Could be a lot of rage. The issue with this is that it does not play nicely with uh, Smite if you're trying to raise your max energy a lot, right? so that you can do the big smite, then Invig brings your ceiling down, potentially, depending on how much energy you've stocked up. There's, like, this weird sort of sweet spot where it still works. We're probably not gonna go for Invig. Uh, at the ready is, is looking great. Bolt, I don't think we want. The card draw's 
pretty nice, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to support that level of discharge. You know, eight discharge. We're, we're overcharging a lot, but not that much. We could try to remedy that by doing stuff like bringing in extra Groundeds. Uh, space on this deck is getting real tight, though. It certainly is. I, I can probably drop the Jolt, actually. It did not feel good in that last fight. Unupgraded and no stone, it, it doesn't seem all that great. So I guess that's like one flex spot we have access to there. And honestly, like the enough I'm probably going to replace as well. I don't know, man. We could also, instead of upgrading the reroute, upgrade the bolt. Ugh. A lot of tough choices in this run. This was not quite as easy going as I thought it might be. I mean, if I buy this, I can't afford at the ready, even unupgraded. But I could afford a Seek Higher Power. And I would probably buy that. This will help me deal with garbage cards. Currently, that's a weakness of mine. I have no real way to deal with garbage cards. This blue stone is going to help too, but... Uh... Hmm... This is going to, like, fully define the deck, I think, if I buy the bolt. Because, like, we overcharge a lot, but we discharge quite a lot, too. With our Zeal 3 discharging, and with, uh... Well, I mean, we said we are going to take this out. Maybe we can support it. And it'll mean our smites are a little bit less big, but we're going to just cycle through the deck a lot more. Which probably means, you know, more zeal, more electro-metronome stuff, more value out of crystal-like hand-me-down. Oh. Drawing through the deck more just means drawing concentrate more as well, which means more overcharge that way and more energy that way. Oh, should I take it? I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try the Bolt. And then we'll take the Seek. And we're going to thin to win. Out with Jolt, in with Bolt. And what about the Seek? What do we cut for Seek? I mean, this Dissipate isn't amazing. But it is a block card, and I, I do need to have a decent number of those. The Awaited Assault is starting to look more appealing. Maybe we just trade those two. I don't know, but have actually done some stuff. Bolt is a heavy card. So maybe I cut a Galvanize, actually. But I don't know, I mean, these do overcharge us, right? And we're, we're concerned about our ability to keep overcharge up. Uh, it's probably time I cut one of them, though, to be honest. And this does give us overcharge, too, so, okay. I think this is what we're going to try now. The deck is looking a little bit weird. But I think this is good. I think this is good. We're going to take 10 damage, 15 damage total among all these tiles. So that really blows, but what can you do? Hey, look at that. We have exactly 21 Essence and 21 Souls. Yeah, I mean, this really sucks, but I, I want to go to the Soul Collector, and the only other way to get there requires me to skip the Elite, and I want the Elite. I don't feel, like, really strong right now. I feel like I need a bit of a push, so. Can't afford any of this stuff, of course. I guess Rage Potion would have been pretty good, but I'm not too beat up about missing the other ones. Show me something good. That is a cheap random rare. Hand Mirror is really not bad at all, either, actually. I have been saying I wanted a bit more block, right? How many block cards total do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of value, and it solves an important problem for us. Uh, if we take that for 18, we can't afford anything else. There's also a green stone. Hmm. I think our shield not bad. 
Uh, I should probably just take the hand mirror, man. I think the extra delay block is going to make a big difference. Okay. It's also important that we hit this node to get the upgrade, because if we go down this way we don't get that, and we really want to upgrade the bolt to make discharging easier. I don't think we're going to use tapped out. Probably. Maybe we will, but I don't know. Seems unlikely. Uh, also, I'm going to put the strength, or not the strength, the, uh, the iron skin in my belt here. Well, we opened with Bolt. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it's just 20 damage. But we opened with it. It's going to happen sometimes, I guess. Uh, 30 damage immediately is a little bit concerning. Let's try and get the redirector going right away, huh? And then how much of this stuff do I want to hold? I don't know. I want to hold the Guidance for sure. And I kind of want to hold the Duck and Weave. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. I could also just play it now for uh, 5 Delay Block for next turn. And it also hits me 7 Zeal. That seems kind of good. I think I'm just going to do that, actually. And we'll dump the Have at you. A lot of shock getting distributed. 30 total shock out there on turn one. Okay. Plenty of defense to be found here. That's nice, I guess. If we play this for 12, we need 13 more. Which I guess comes from the enough. Yeah. Go galvanize plus enough plus guidance, I suppose. That seems okay. Uh, we're probably going after the Exalted Warrior because of the whole shock to the highest HP enemy thing. That seems like what's going to happen here, so. Oh, also, what am I talking about? I can't afford to do that. Playing this now just for delay block and delay rage seems pretty good, actually. Pretty decent odds of finding smite, and if we don't uh, find... It's, it's really unlikely we don't find either it or the defensive attack. Get okay, the seek. Do we want to seek? I don't know, I kind of like this hand. This hand's kind of good. I don't think we're going to seek. We'll just concentrate a lot. That is a lot of damage. This is going to kill, I'm sure, right? But yeah, that's like big time overkill. So let's hit you. And then we actually have our pick of the litter here, huh? I mean, I guess we should probably just take out the warrior. Yeah, I wasted our uh, hand-me-down, but that's fine. You die... We draw two Banes in addition to these cards. 18 Thread with 15 Delay Block. Yeah, I think we're okay here. The Delay Block sure is nice right now, though, man. I'm, I'm happy with this Hand Mirror. Normally not one of my favorite relics, but... It's looking pretty good right now. The hand mirror and the hand me down. Two relics I don't normally like that much, but doing good in this uh, this run. Yeah, this is the thing about our deck. We're a little light on attack, so sometimes we just draw hands like this. But between the quick charge uh, and the bolt and the seek higher power, I think we're going to be able to find our attacks reasonably quickly. All right, and we upgrade the bolt here because we want to have a lower discharge on it, and that's really the only reason. Okay, the hag. The spirit flail? Hmm. 
That's interesting. The uh, bulging capacitor's gotta be really good, actually, I think. Ghost on, like, defensive attack is really good, and uh, the interaction with the heavy cards and the hand-me-down and stuff is, is very potent in general, I think. But that's gonna make us discharge even more, and we're already having some mild issues with that. Uh, it's also really bad with uh, the bolt. I mean, it's not bad with the bolt per se, but like, because this is an opener effect, and this happens on the first attack played. So if we want to draw off of this, then we have to use the ghost on this as well, and then like, that's just so much discharge. I don't know about that. Right, that would be nine discharge. That's ridiculous. Pastor's gonna save us a lot. We discharge at least once every turn. And having more overcharge is also gonna help with damage in general for stuff like the smite. I think it's capacitor. I think it's capacitor over flail. We should match up reasonably well against the Hag, so... Okay. I'll go ahead and bump myself up here. I think that we might actually get around to using this again and have Stu be relevant. Okay, there's our reroute. We already have our smite, and it's it's quite a bit. She sends back four. So I could just, like, giant smite into... Bane pitching with duck and weave. That seems good. Do I want to make it more giant? Probably not. We are wasting the hand-me-down, but uh, not really any way to avoid that as far as I see. So yeah, we'll do like that. Purge, play, purge, purge. That seems good. Yeah, okay. And the delay block's really nice as well off of this. Capacitor's ready to go. We just barely missed out our 10 zeal there. Yeah, see, it is difficult for us to get the reroute into play there at two cost. If, we, if it was one cost, we would have been able to play it there, but... That's just how it is. Uh, pretty good bolt. With the capacitor and everything. Still have two haunted. Uh, can we ever kill her here? I don't think so. So let's do issue challenge plus a weighted assault for block. And then the defensive attack is going to hit really hard next turn. Do I just keep the smash? I think I do. I have 125 rage to start. We're hexed, so we'll just toss the sea Kyre power to that. Give you the smash, give you the defensive attack. A nice and easy elite. Take our final five damage to collapsing hallways. What a brutal modifier that's been. I think it's dealt 25 damage to us total. Which is staggering. Another copy of Have At You here that we will definitely not be using. Uh, we got this blue stone. Where do I want to put that? Where do I want to put the blue stone? I really don't know. We're not picking up anything relevant, right? Don't really want to put it in battle plan necessarily. Don't really want to put it in an expel card. I guess it's pretty good on a Weighted Assault. We're almost always playing this card just for Delay Rage and Delay Block 5. If I could upgrade it, it'd be good. I guess uh, Duck and Weave is a good target as well. That's a lot of control over your deck. Sift 1 and draw and Discard 1. And I don't think Duck and Weave's coming out, so you know what? I'm actually going to do that. Put it on the Duck and Weave. Okay, these guys are usually not much of an issue, so I'm sure we'll be fine. The double spell is ready to go immediately, so we could just do, like, a relatively large galvanize. I don't think that's really worth it, though. 
We will just galvanize normally. And I think we'll just do double spell next turn, right? Yeah. Especially because if we draw the... Uh... No, actually, that doesn't matter, does it? Because this overcharges one. And we don't have an over... We're not going to hit an overcharge that gives us zeal. Yeah, I was thinking if we drew the bolt, we could double spell, but we have zero overcharge to start. Oh, wait, no, it would have worked. Grounded. I, I forgot about grounded. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, it didn't matter. Yeah, they're not hitting very hard right now. Do we want to bother with the sea higher power, or do we just want to, like, play out some good stuff here? I think that's all we're gonna do, honestly. So let's go reroute... Enough. And then we'll just duck and weave, sending something that we don't need. I don't know, all of these cards are pretty good. I guess a weighted assault is the least good right now. Thank god we didn't draw something more important there. Uh, really hoping to see Bolt now with the capacitor charged up. There it is! Fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and do this for some rage. If only we had... Oh, man. This purple stone is probably going to go in the bolt. To be honest. Because, like, in a situation like this, right, that would be so killer. We're only drawing off of it once now, though. Look at that damage. My god. Insanity. Let's go after you. Massive energy gain. Smash does not quite kill you. What if I get some rage? Nope, still doesn't quite kill you. Uh, I mean, we might as well do it anyway. And then we'll get the tempo. Okay, and at this point the overcharge looks like a, it's at a pretty healthy number. Okay, so you're trying to steal a card. Definitely a good time to finish you off. So we'll just do that with the Galvanize there to get the free Rage. <laughs> How about that, huh? Let's go ahead and have at you. My god. 270, that's just ridiculous. How much is this? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. And check this out, we can do this. Get the hand-me-down ready. Now this is free. <laughs> that was pretty silly. That felt good. And at this point, 10% zeal 10. I think that's worth it, man. I think we'll take that righteous pursuit. I like how everything came out here. Um, now we just grab a battle plan before we go? Are we going to play the battle plan? Like, It kind of seems like not really, honestly, because we have a... I have a Seek Higher Power, and we're already choosing not to play that, so, like, is it even worth it to go there? Chance we run into the Goat Boys, and they might actually just kill us, so, you know what? I'm gonna say no! I'm not gonna bother! We're just going straight to the Birth Pit. We should match up very favorably against this fight. Uh, no real changes to make here. Yeah, the biggest reason to do that fight uh, that we skipped would have been to get more Void Stone progress. Uh, we should get this before the Void, though, 3,200, and we're already 580-ish there, so... I think we'll get it, at the rate things are going. Decent start, we got all the buffs down. Need to go refill my water after this fight. Okay, uh, hmm. Just hoping for a little more block. Still hoping for a little more block? Okay, it's a little more block. And it gets us to zeal 10. Probably hold the defensive attack, though. This card is, like, way too good to skip, right? I don't know, though. Our deck is small, and we're gonna be cycling through really quickly, so... I think we actually can skip on it. Okay. 
go for as much Blanc as we can. Uh, I think it's... <laughs> Look at that! That is insane! Yeah, I think that's worth it. Really loving the amount of shock we're dishing out now. Feels great. Yep, and then the bolt comes around, and it's just so strong. Okay, yeah, I, I like the fact that we have the capacitor, man. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. Get smashed. All right. Uh, okay, before I make my choice here, I'm going to go uh, take a real quick break and fill up my water, so be right back. All right, we're back. Time for me to actually look at my well options here. Uh, can't afford anything from the bottom. We just barely missed out. Five essence away from an energy potion. That actually would have been quite nice. That kind of sucks, but that's what we get for skipping a fight. Um, the card trap sleeve is always a good one. I think we're past the point of needing another booster pack. I think our deck's in a good spot. And it's already really hard to find room for more cards, so we're going to be leaving it there. 25 health, not bad, but probably not necessary. We haven't taken damage in a while, so we'll just take that. And here we are. It's time to decide what we're doing in terms of Guardians. Uh, the Death Knight is annoying because uh, he's going to make my defensive attack uh, produce Banes, which sucks, but... I think we can handle him. As for who else we fight, though, that's the real question. Like, which other uh, bonus do we want? I think I would quite like the Blessing of Momentum. But I'm a little worried about our ability to kill the Queen. Her getting her debuffs purged is honestly devastating. So... That leaves the Spider Nest and the Puppet Master, but like we're, we're not very well equipped for Spider Nest. We have almost no AoE at all. There's none in the deck right now. And in the bag we have a Swerving Currents and a Tapped Out and one Rollover, right? Yeah, there it is, Rollover. So like, you know, Rollover is good. Tapped Out's probably good. I don't know if it's enough. 
I also don't know if we'll find it in time. We don't have any kind of stealth potion or exploding bottle or... We don't, we don't even have something like bacon bomb. We have retaliate, I guess. 150% rage. But I'm a little worried about the spiders. Making the void weaker is, like, not that bad. Just having more time to just stack up shock is pretty good. And to stack up our own overcharge so that the eventual smite is really strong. But I think Puppet Master would be a little bit better at actually uh, buying us time. Because it's going to take us a while before we start dealing damage. Right? If we're just building up a bunch of shock over and over. I don't know, it's a tough call between these two, but one way or another, I think we always start with the Death Knight. We have a measly three potions, and I really want to brew the draw potion against the Void. So that means that we're probably belting Rage against the Void, which means that the Iron Skin is the only one we have to use as we please among the other fights, and it's probably going to be important to have that as an emergency button versus the Spiders. So we'll, we'll keep it in the belt, but we'll really, really try not to use it. I don't feel confident against any of these guys in particular, to be honest here, so... Hopefully everything works out. Starting with the double concentrate's really nice, though. Uh, as for why I didn't open her the Seek Higher Power, uh, there is no reason. It was just a misplay. <laughs> it was simply a mistake. But I think we'll be okay anyway. Uh, what do we not need here? It's probably a little early for Smite, so... You can go away for now. I mean, we're always playing defensive attack, right? I think we might as well just shield bash him too in that case. And then the rest of the block comes from the quick charge. And I should have done that first so that I could have used the have at you. It's fine. We'll just do this just to get the extra zeal there and get the extra shock. Gotta be careful not to pollute the deck too much. Show me bolt. There it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we put back here. We're just gonna immediately draw it off the bolt. That's a lot of damage. 100% rage, man. That'll... That'll do it. Uh-oh. Drew an awful lot of Banes there. And we're getting reshuffled. Let's go ahead and smash you, huh? Smite's pretty big. Is that enough for a kill? We're going for it one way or another. It is. Just barely. Four damage to spare. But we get the perfect. Not bad. And at this point, yeah, I mean, I really am worried about the Queen of Ages. Like, we might actually just die to her if we can't stick enough shock, so... I think I'm gonna instead take on these guys, who are also very scary. In all likelihood, the Spider Nest will probably end up being a little bit better in terms of defense. Is what I'm thinking, because if we just hit the Void, like, once or twice, you know, just for the sake of getting, like, you know, defensive attack value or drawing cards with Bolt... It's going to get nudged down below 70% max, right? Which is good for this, and it would be bad for this, right? Because you're not going to be over 75 forever, so... I think we'd rather have Spider Nest Blessing. Ah, this fight's really <laughs> scary, though. We're going to need to edit the deck somewhat significantly for this. So let's go ahead and save there, and we just need to put in more... AoE damage, I guess, really, right? So, like, we don't need... The Shifting Winds or the Grounded, I don't think. And what we do need is rollover, divine spark to get rollover, and I guess we'll just cut reroute while we're at it, honestly. Put the tapped in as well, tapped out, uh, and swerving currents. I want that in there. Probably cut a weighted assault, do something like this. A lot more attacks, as much AoE as we can. We've got our potion there, we've chosen the correct spell. Ooh, it's scary, but uh, let's see what we can do. Opening with Bolt. 
It is not. What the hell is this hand? This way? I just put in so much damage. Where's my damage, or even just my concentrates? Oh no! Come on, man. Oh, this is so bad. This is really bad. Shit. Let's put the issue challenge at the bottom, I guess. There's no real point to bolting here. Try and draw cards. Oh, okay, Divine Spark. Uh, jeez. I think we just go for a giant rollover immediately. This is going to be a really big rollover. Oh, it's already enough. Might as well make it bigger. 121 <laughs> to the little ones and 163 to the one with extra shock. Okay. Well, that was scary, but we got good luck there. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we load the... Wait, what? I guess it didn't save properly. Whoops. Well, let's just remedy it. Take out, swerving, and tap out, and roll over. Take out, divine spark. I think that was everything we take out. Put back in our buffs. All of them. And... Oh, wait, no, we were on tapped out, weren't we? Or were we? Shit. No, we were on uh, a weighted assault. This was what we were looking at. Uh, tapped out is worth considering. I was saying that I might just run that. Problem is, I don't know what to cut. Seek higher power is like our only draw and discard to help with garbage cards, so I don't really want to cut that out against the void. Maybe the enough, but like I've actually kind of liked having it around. Maybe the galvanize. I could probably do it instead of galvanize. All right. Well, Puppet Master is also kind of scary. We could get stuck with a lot of crap in our hand. In fact, I should actually have the Divine Spark to deal with Puppet Master, I think. So, you know what, actually? Let's let's properly save the deck now. And let's cut the tapped out for the Divine Spark here. Just to be a little more consistent against him. And make sure we put our spell back on... Actually, you know, we're going to use Let's Pray. We're busting out all the spells. Let's Pray will help against this guy. Just make sure we save it until we need it. Um... Get rid of issue challenge here. This mostly just for delay block. I've really been liking these uh, early rares off Dark Idol runs. They're fun. Not something you often get to do. We'll keep putting the uh, Seek Higher Power on the bottom if we can, right until we reshuffle, and then it'll have a much higher chance of letting us pitch Banes immediately if we draw them off the reshuffle, I think. Uh, here we want to go reroute first so that we actually get value off this discharge. And then... So mediocre. Such mediocre damage. Let's see if we can draw something better. Pitching... Probably the have at you, to be honest. No, that is not better damage. But it's convenient block next turn, I guess? I don't know. Do we need it? Maybe. We're not going to bother with the smash. Show me Bolt! Hell yeah. Doesn't really matter what we put back here. Go ahead and Bolt him. Uh, so Divine Spark gets us anything we want right now. Uh, notably, we already have the Smite in hand. Hmm. Okay, let's seek higher power first. There's one garbage card. Uh, I guess we'll send that, because it's expensive. This is the last Guardian, so we can freely use our Iron Skin Potion if we want to. And I feel like that's probably what's going to happen here. 
So let's go have at you, Divine Spark for Bolt, I guess. Bolt. Defensive attack. Uh, throw out the Let's Pray, pitching three Banes. Perfect. And now it's just a question of how big of a smite we can do. I guess we can quick charge as well. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's reasonably large. But that's all our shock used up, so... Gotta be a little bit careful that we don't punt it and take a bunch of random damage here at the end. Uh, are there Banes still in the deck? No. Okay, so we'll definitely put one of those back and then duck and weave it away. And we can ditch that. Wow, such interesting decisions to make this turn. I think I will play all of the cards and end my turn. I guess this is a situation where we could Iron Skin. He's gonna steal our Guidance and give us two Banes, which kind of sucks. Is it worth it here to try and preserve the perfect? I should probably save it. Probably save it. There's still the chance that like something really horrible happens. We could literally draw five Banes here, you know, and Let's Pray isn't ready to go yet. Get rid of you. Okay, we had a much better result instead. But that wasn't guaranteed. Uh, hmm, we already got rid of our thing. Okay, yeah, let's just do this for Smash. Smash to get a bit more rage, defensive attack, and then we'll just do the biggest smite we can. And it's plenty large. So I guess I technically lost 5 health for no reason there. But I doubt that'll be the difference maker. Okay, well, uh, it's time to fight the Void. We'll brew up our draw potion, belt up our rage. Make sure our spell is back on Energize. And... Uh... Get the tapped out back in, right? Because that'll help dealing with the Guardians. I think this is pretty much it. I think this is the final deck, right? This would be the last chance to consider putting in an extra Grounded. It's going to end up being an enormous amount of overcharge over the course of this fight. And I'm kind of thinking it might be worth it. Making the deck smaller. I don't know, man. I, I kind of want to put in both of them, honestly. I, I kind of do. It seems good. We haven't played Issue Challenge in a hot minute. Maybe I cut that, huh? Maybe I cut Issue Challenge. Ooh. I mean, like, the tapped out is not that good, but it's really just there to try and help deal with the minions earlier. But honestly, like, is it worth it? Let's try this. I think this is our final build. We did not get the purple stone. Shy by 400-ish damage. Well, this'll have to do it. Let's give it a go. Even 1,500 health. Uh, hmm. Let's put away the smite. That's probably the least relevant thing here. This is just going to be for delay block. I think we're going to go after... I don't think I'm going to have a kill next turn, right? Like, all of our shock is going onto the void. Okay, almost all of it. The four AoE shock is going to go everywhere, right? But... I think it's going to take us at least three turns to kill, so we're going to go after righty. So we'll do this. Well, mm. let's just start with quick charge, actually. We'll throw down both of these. And we're going to wait at assault. Get us up to five. Get us up to seven. And then I could use it again, but there's no real point most of the block. Just really hoping we don't get totally flooded with crap here. Uh, we don't really want the Seek right now. Conflicts with our Bolt. We can get double value off it here, which is excellent. Throw out all the Concentrates. Get the remaining powers down. 
Might as well, I guess, get Delay Rage here, right? Or do we want bonus energy? Probably Delay Rage with the Smite coming up, and then we'll just full Purge. 100% Rage coming up, Delay already. We might take a little hit here. Not sure. Okay, what do we not need? I guess the Seek again. Although I don't really want it on the bottom of the deck. I would love it to be, like, in the middle. <sighs> I guess maybe the Duck and Weave can go then? Crystal Lake is almost ready. We'll go Bolt. Now it's ready. Okay, we drew a bunch of garbage, but that's fine because we still have the Seek in hand, so let's just pitch it now. Uh, that's so close. That's so close. I guess we'll do have at you here. Now it's enough. So we can get the kill there. Huge smite. Way bigger than we need. Especially after we put the vulnerable on, so we can waste some of our energy here by building up some other stuff. Three, that's the perfect amount. Okay. 70 shock on the void already. We need more. Quite a bit more. Uh, we've got time. Uh, let's put you at the bottom. And we'll just handle it like this. None of these cards do anything besides give us delay block. And this one, I guess, gives us the tempo. Yeah, sure. Purge the rest. Do I hold the shield bash for Voln? Honestly, it seems pretty good. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Uh, Bolt is the ideal draw here. The capacitor is ready to go. We'd probably crack our rage potion, honestly, at this point, too. Okay. We got the Bolt. Let's drop Quick Charge. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the rage here. Go ahead and Bolt. It's huge damage already. Then let's go defensive for the energy savings. Concentrates out, get the smash. Do we seek away the void? We could redraw basically anything. We want Voln down. I should have done that. I'm so dumb. I was just, <laughs> I was only thinking about putting Voln up for the smite for some reason. It looks like we're gonna get there though. Uh, let's recycle, reshuffle here without this garbage in the deck. We draw the concentrate, that's really good. Is this going to be a kill? I think this is going to be a kill. Got him! Okay. Nice, dude. The Rage Potion actually sped things up a lot there. I thought it was going to take us quite a few more rounds than that. GG. Nice run. Solid run. Yeah, look at- okay, so it was only 15. I, th I thought I remembered stepping on empty tiles in floor 1, but apparently not. GG, thanks, Haggard. Yeah, we took 15 damage off that. Uh, but barely being able to dupe the, uh, concentrate. That was pretty clutch, having just enough souls there. Um, I I'm glad I teched in the, uh, buffs versus the void. That was good, I think. It was a good call. The stupid smite ended up being our finisher all the way through the end. That was a good run, though. That was a good run. Alright. Well, coming in at a clean 